Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. DigitalOcean is a cloud computing company that provides storage and hosting solutions for businesses. I usually cover stocks in the aerospace industry like Archer Aviation, but this time I've decided to cover this stock as I find it interesting as well. Here is the video format. First I will explain what DigitalOcean do, when it was established, and other basic information so you will have good understanding of the company. Then I will talk about the products they are selling, who they sell the products to, and what are the different use cases for the products. Finally, I will talk about their business model and financial results. Everything I say is not a financial advice, so please make sure you do your own research. DigitalOcean is a cloud computing company headquartered in New York. It was founded in 2011, went public in 2021, and they trade under the ticker symbol DOCN. The company provides cloud infrastructure services, including virtual servers, storage, databases, and other tools that enable developers to build and run websites, applications, and software online. These services are also being offered by major providers like Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud, but DigitalOcean specifically targets individual developers, startups, and small to medium-sized businesses. The company generates revenue through both subscriptions and pay-as-you-go pricing model. So they offer a variety of cloud tools for developers, and let's cover them really briefly. They offer droplets, which are virtual servers for websites and apps. For storage, they offer solutions for big files, backups, and static sites. They have monitoring and alerts services that warn you when you have something that is going wrong on your website. And they also have hosting services. Now, their primary revenue driver is their droplets service, which accounts for approximately 60% of the total revenue. Droplets are particularly favored by developers and startups seeking cost-effective infrastructure solutions. Some of their big clients include cybersecurity firm Cybel, which signed a multi-year seven-figure contract with DigitalOcean to support their data processing needs. The pricing for droplets start at $55 per month, and if there is a need for something more powerful, so the price is going to range between $15 to $40 per month. Also, they have something that is called App Platform, and that contributes around 25% to their revenue. It's especially popular among solo developers, small agencies, and software startups. For example, Speech Blobs, a company offering a speech therapy app for children, use the app platform that DigitalOcean offers to support their scalability. The app platform offers paid plans ranging between $5 to $29 per month, and that really depends what had been included in that plan. Now let's talk about their financial results. They made about $780 million in revenue in 2024, which is 13% more than last year. Their net income was about $80, and that's about triple than what they've made in the year before, and their net profit margin is about 11%. They have reported positive free cash flow in the past three years, but it has been decreasing compared to last year because they have increased their capital expenditures. On the balance sheet side, they have about $120 million in cash by the end of 2024, but they also carry a large amount of debt at the amount of about $1.6 billion. Looking ahead, they forecast that the revenue for 2025 is going to be between $870 to $890. They also forecast that their beat the margin is going to be around 40%, and they believe they're going to keep the same levels of free cash flow margin, which is about 16 to 18%. So that was a short brief about the company. I hope it helped you understand more about what the company do, and I will see you in the next video.